God, look at that dinner plate of a gear right there. That's just wicked. Now I could pick and choose anywhere I want it to be. Welcome back to Innovation RC. I have something absolutely awesome to show you guys today. We're gonna be doing some speed runs. We're going fast again. We have the OG on the Innovation RC team as well that we are going to be testing with a couple other things, so. Today, we're gonna be running Shockwave. Here's my original OG speed run car. The first one I've ever had, actually. Now, I stretched them, put a bigger motor, much bigger ESC, and a couple here or there things. Before the Limitless came out, there was Shockwave. Over 136 miles an hour top speed, and he also boasts that beautiful active wing, as you guys can see. We have a 1721 2400 kV speed run motor from Castle Creations. This is it. <laughs> this is the guy. Look how big it is. But it's not too big and too heavy or low of a kV to do the test with what I want to do today. Reason being that the 2S and 3S came out, we're going to be running Shockwave on 2S at first, and then we're going to be running it on 3S. 2400 kV is actually perfect if you're running 4 to 6S. 8S may be a little bit too much for the ESC. I did upgrade the ESC to an XLX2, so it should most certainly handle the amp draw of the, uh, oh my God, look at that dinner plate of a gear right there. That's just wicked, wicked. And we are actually in overdrive, so I do not recommend this gearing with this motor. Well, but then again, we're running super duper low voltage to compensate the RPM loss of the low voltage. That's why we're geared that high. We are also gonna be testing some brand new batteries by Innovation RC from CNHL. That is a 6S, that's a 4S. Uh-oh, now we get a 3 and a 2S. Look at this little Klondike bar. And we also have 8-gauge wire coming from both the 3S and the 2S over here, leading straight to a QS8 connector. And yes, you can also get them in 10-gauge wire. EC5 connector, 100% EC5 connector. So if you have any Arma, it could pretty much just plug straight in. So that's the good thing about those. And if you want any of these beautiful, beautiful batteries, I'll just have a link to pretty much all of them right up there if you want to click that link it'll bring you right to the website to buy them oh snap i have this beautiful radio link rc8x here now this is going to be the first true speed run and distance and range test of this remote but ultimately what i really really wanted was to hook shockwave up to this beautiful remote and i actually have the wing rigged up to this little knob right over here you guys can see that now i could pick and choose anywhere i want it to be now obviously you can adjust it if you want more speed you can see it goes down it's going to allow air to pass and then vice versa we put this thing up air is going to hit this wing and actually make the rear end squat because that's weight that's really pushing down on the car giving us traction to the rear so i'm first going to do a test on 2s with the wing up and then we're going to do 2s with the wing down just right there and then here's our, th well, our 3S is already there. 3S with the wing up. And then we're gonna do another hit on the 3S with the wing down and we're gonna see the difference overall. My fingers are crossed. I'm super excited to test these brand new Innovation RC Edition 2S and 3S batteries. If you guys think that's interesting, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more. I would really, really appreciate it. And I do appreciate every single one of you who tune into the channel. So without any further ado, let's hop into this. I have Shockwave with the highest downforce on the active wing. We are all zeroed out as you guys can see. 2S LiPo Innovation RC Edition. See the little balance lead in there. There are three pins. Two plus one is ground. Let's put this guy back on here. We're gonna see what he can do. All right, here we go. Stretch shockwave on 2S. Here he come. <laughs> That's only 2S, guys. That's a quarter of the power of what shockwave can ultimately run. Very nice. Amazing. Let's see how fast he did on 2S. And it's a single 2S, it's not a parallel pack, we're not running two. Oh, almost 80 miles an hour. 78 miles an hour on the IRC Edition 2S. Let me turn this guy off. Let's feel the temperatures. Uh, well, I, I don't even know why I'm doing that, it's 2S, it's cold. <laughs> and there you go, Innovation RC Edition 2S. I cannot wait to see the data log of this. Oh my goodness. That was just insane. Innovation RC Edition 2S. Look at this little Klondike bar. That's pretty funny. Kit Kat bar, so skinny. Oh, that is just amazing. Very nice. We're gonna be running 2S again. GPS all zeroed out with the wing down in the back. So my fingers are crossed right there. We're gonna keep everything just like that. Nothing should hit the drive line. 
One, two, and three. Hopefully we can beat 78 miles an hour. My fingers are crossed, here he goes. Good, good, no reception loss. Here we go, 2S, wing down. That's pretty good. All right, Let's see what we got. Well, we gained another mile an hour. We're even closer to 80 miles an hour on a single 2S. That's insane. I'm actually kind of happy with that. On 2S, we're almost doing 80 miles an hour, which is pretty much a stock infraction or arm of felony out of the box with the speed gear. On the 6S, that's three times the power. That's just insane. All right, here we go, guys. Truckway finally gonna run a 3S battery. Individual 3S. We're not running parallel or anything like that. Let's see how well he does. I'm literally shaking. I've never been this excited since I ran 8S parallel for the first time three, four years ago in uh, in Spartan. <laughs> 161 miles an hour. That really made my hand shake. But even though that this is low voltage, you know I haven't speed ran in a long time. So I really hope everything goes well. Uh, there we go. We still have our active wing at the highest position. I want the most stability. Traction going to the rear. Let's see how well we can do on 3S. Let's see. Let's see how fast he can go. Individual 3S. Here we come. Wow. And that's about it. I really can't go any faster till I just got to hit the brakes. That's why I haven't been going to this road, but... The other road is closed down, so we have to resort back to this road. Oh, let's see what that was. That was at least, at least 90. At least, <laughs> at least 90. Let's see what this was now. Over here. Oh my God, 99 miles an hour. <laughs> I think if I put the wing down a little bit, we'll be able to break 100. That is just insane. Triple digits with the individual 3S LiPo. That's insane. Individual 3S Innovation RC Edition, 10,000 milliamp battery. Battery isn't too warm at all. Nothing is stressing, nothing is straining. What I'm gonna do is actually lower the back a little bit, like that, and I think we could crack 100. I think we can do it, so let's do it again. All right, here we go, guys. Making sure I lower the wing down a little bit more. Hopefully we can get that one mile an hour to get triple digits on a single 3S. Let's see what we can do. And he's off. Alrighty, we're all turned around. Here we come back. A Little bit less downforce in the rear. See what he's got. Oh, and let's see what this is. Fingers crossed. And there we go. <laughs> 102 miles an hour on a single 3S. That is just amazing. Can't believe it made that much of a difference. I thought it was only gonna be like maybe a mile an hour. Maybe we'd break scratch 100. But no, we cleared 100. We easily cleared 100. And look at that. 3S Innovation RC Edition. Right there, we have our balance plug. Motor isn't too hot. ESC, ESC's cold. <laughs> and I could also tell you, majority of the temperature of any kind of speed run car, what is, where it's gonna generate from is actually when you hit the brakes. Ah, there really is not enough road to go up in voltage anymore. Screw it, let's try 4S. If we did over 102 miles an hour on 3S, I wonder what 4S is gonna be. So we're gonna find that out real, real shortly. And regarding the wing situation, I don't really want the wing down too much. I want to make sure I have uh, enough downforce. So I really want like a happy medium. I guess uh, I guess that could be good right over there. All right, my fingers are crossed. Shockwave on 4S. All right, we're all turned around. Here we come. Whoa! 
Whoa, we just blew a tire. Whoa, we just blew a tire. And he still maintained. He still, oh my God. I would have put money right there. I would have wiped out and gone off road. This car really, really took that amazingly well. My heart just stopped. I could hear it. Hear it? Left rear. Gonna bring him back. Oh yeah, definitely, that's a no. No, 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 no. Yeah, tire came unglued. Oh my God, and that just wigged the whole system out because I, I slammed on the brakes instantly. We were moving though. Yeah, there's definitely not enough road with this gearing. 105 miles an hour on 4S. That's actually really, really good. Um, keep in mind, I was nowhere near into it, which is impressive. But honestly, I'll take 105. Motor's not too warm. Um, ESC, yeah, ESC is like cool. It's almost ambient air temperature. 105 miles an hour, not too bad. Oh my goodness, it literally just started raining. This is so bad, I'm huddled under my hatch. I'm gonna have to make a run for the front seat. Wish me luck. <laughs>